Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Red Alert. Now, Red Alert here is a Walgreens exclusive, but I was able to get mine from Hasbro Pulse when Pulse decided to start releasing their exclusives on their site as well. So I'm very fortunate to get him because I have no Walgreens anywhere near me. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Red Alert in robot mode right there behind the plastic window. Some fantastic wraparound artwork showing Red Alert in vehicle mode and robot mode. Back of the package, we've got Red Alert in robot mode and vehicle mode. And this side of the box, more of that fantastic kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get old Red here opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Red Alert all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a rifle, a light bar with translucent plastic. Actually, the whole thing is translucent plastic, just painted white up top, and a launcher with missile. Now, these are all the same accessories that we've seen pretty much with all of the Siege Sideswipe molds, but one difference I've noticed right here is the launcher, this little section right here, does not have the peg on it because with Siege Sideswipe, this section right here, of course, every Sideswipe we've gotten with this accessory has that peg on the missile. Red Alert does not, and that is awesome. And as you can see, it's the exact same thing, just minus the peg. So let's go ahead and attach the weaponry. The missile launcher will slot right on here on top of the shoulder. Go ahead and put the rifle in his hand. And of course, the light bar can go here on his back. Now, before I put the light bar on his back, they do show in the instructions that you can take the light bar, plug it into the top of the rifle, and create this melee weapon, which I think is kind of stupid because if you smack somebody with a light bar, the light bar is going to break. So that, that's something you can do. I am not a big fan. I like the light bar right here on top of or on Red Alert's back. Make sure you get the little vent section facing forward. And there you go. So this Red Alert figure here is the new earth mode style of the side swipe mold now we're going to be getting side swipe with the battle across time series i believe he comes with silver bolt but that's not due out for a couple months so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and compare the kingdom red alert here with the side swipe mold now the reason i'm going with the side swipe mold is i have Siege Red Alert, but he's been completely toy hacked up. So this one looks a lot different than his original form. So we're going to use Sideswipe here for some comparisons as far as the mold is concerned. 
Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the difference in the chest. The chest, of course, forms the hood of the vehicle, where the Siege version has a more rounded chest at the bottom, where the new Kingdom version, it's square and straight across. Now, one thing I do not like about the Kingdom version is the head seems to sink down lower into the chest than Siege. I mean, the same thing can be seen here with the Red Alert version and... You know what? I'm just going to use Red Alert now since that what we're, that's what we're comparing anyway. So I'm going to put Side Swipe over here to the side. So as you can see, there is a difference with the way the head sticks out. So the chest, there's one major difference right there. The arms, arms are completely the same. Of course, you've got red arms here on the Kingdom Red Alert, white arms on Siege. Down here on the legs, the thighs are red. Siege had the white ones. Like I say, you got toy hacks right here. The mold is pretty much the same all around, aside from the chest. And if you turn around and look at the back of the lower legs, that's completely different as well. And that's really the main differences with these two figures. Now, as far as the paint applications go, let me get these guys kind of facing forward. The white is almost the same, except on the arms. The white for the chest, that looks the same, nice and bright. The arms are a brighter white than the Siege version. And of course, you got the different paint applications on the legs. But the main draw for this figure, of course, is the vehicle mode, because this Red Alert has a... Because, like I said, Kingdom Red Alert has a Earth-style alt mode opposed to the Siege version. And also, with this version, I showed off all the weaponry he had. This Red Alert here only came with the rifle and the light bar. So now, let's go ahead and get Siege Red Alert, excuse me, Kingdom Red Alert transformed into robot mode. We'll go ahead and remove the weapons. We can leave the light bar on. Now, I like this transformation. This transformation reminds me of old school G1. We'll go ahead and flip the hood all the way up. It's going to tab in right here. Transformation for this guy is exactly the same as all the multiple side swipe molds that we've had. Flip the arms out. Get these side panels out. Let's go ahead and flip the waist around. Flip these panels open. Bring the feet in. So you get that little section right there, push back. Snap the feet in. Click the legs together. Let's go ahead and bring the arms in. Fold the fists down. I can almost do this transformation with my eyes closed. I mean, my lord, how many siege side swipe molds have we got so far? So we got that together. Flip this around. Tab those in, tab the sides, and there we have Kingdom Red Alert in vehicle mode. And vehicle mode looks great. I love the looks of this, except the windshield here. You can see all of the robot junk and panels. I, I don't like that. I know Toy Hacks will fix that up at some point. But look at the details on this. This one, this is all about... Vehicle mode. Still missing the spoilers, though. Love the back. It looks really, really good. Paint applications right there for the headlights. You got the Autobot logo. I mean, everything looks really good. Now, let me go ahead and bring in both Sideswipe and Red Alert so we can do some comparisons. Let me move Red Alert out of the way once again. Siege Sideswipe right here. This is what the original Red Alert's Vehicle mode looked like very futuristic. You had a big canopy that went all the way across. Where now, of course, you can see this mold has more of that Earth-style look. There is the roof here on top. You've got, let's see, the little break. I don't know what you call those. The little separation pieces for the windows. And, like I showed with the legs, the rear is a completely new mold. So that looks really, really good. I just wish he did have the spoilers. So big difference from Cybertronian mode to Earth-style mode. Now, 
let me show off the Toy Hacks Siege Red Alert. So you got to look right there. That looks awesome. I mean, they, they did a great job turning Cybertronian Red Alert into an Earth-style vehicle. And of course, see the difference right there where Siege had red rims, Kingdom has the silver. But man, I love the looks of this. This is sweet, but after getting this figure and then already having this, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, this would be a purchase if you're just wanting to use him for vehicle mode. Vehicle mode looks great, but like I said, you got Siege right there with the toy hacks. But then again, do you want to spend extra for the toy hacks when you could just grab Siege and you already have the Earth mode? So really, really up in the air. But I think Kingdom Red Alert, that is a great looking Earth mode. But I don't really know if I want to dive in to all these possible new Sideswipe molds. I mean, we've got him. We got Sideswipe coming. I really, really hope that Hasbro just doesn't blow the Sideswipe mode out, mold out of the water again. Because I think we got as many Sideswipe molds as we did Seekers. So there you go, guys. There is Kingdom Red Alert in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Red Alert with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Red Alert, Toy Hacked Siege Red Alert, and his buddy War for Cybertron Kingdom Inferno. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Red Alert is an okay figure. I mean, he's nothing we haven't seen before aside from a few mold differences, and those mainly show up in vehicle mode. But those differences really pop in that mode, and that's where I'm going to recommend this figure for his Earth-style vehicle mode. Unless you already have the Toy Hacks decal set, then it's still up in the air. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Red Alert. So... Does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Red Alert belong in your collection? Well, in my opinion, this is one for the hardcore G1ers or those that really, really like that Earth-style alt mode. Now, I was so busy comparing Kingdom Red Alert here to the Toy Hacks version that I did forget to show off the comparisons between Kingdom and the G1 toy. As you can see, those collar schemes are pretty close, looking at the red waist and the red thigh. So this one right here is a great homage to the original Generation 1 toy. But as I said in the review, I like the robot mode on the Siege version a lot better. Vehicle mode on this one is awesome, but I've got the Toy X decals on this one. So I think as far as my display is concerned, this guy is going to be in his alt mode posed or displayed with him. So at least that's my two cents. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!